Okay. Okay. How you been? Man? I like it. I've been real good, man. I've been I've been doing very well for myself, but uh, but I could always always use you know the help, the the check back in, you know. Yeah. Well, that's I don't really have much of a plan for today. I want to make sure you're on track for your yeah no convention. Yes. And uh, nice. And um, <laughs> you don't sound good. You don't look good. What's going on? I just, it's like, I don't like admitting that I'm sick, but uh, it yeah, it's, it's like it started Tuesday and then Wednesday it was like happening. And then yesterday, well, Tuesday when I got sick, my car, my engine he overheated after I just dropped like $300 getting it fixed. Damn. So then Wednesday was the fourth. And then yesterday, <laughs> I took it in to get fixed, had to spend more money on it. But I know I was six, just waiting for my car. So it was it was a long day yesterday. But uh but I feel like I feel good. I just I don't like admitting that I'm sick, but I'm definitely feeling well, it. Well whatever, man. I, I appreciate you making the sacrifice to no, be no, awake no. right now and, and do this. It's like no, it's just this is a lot of, it's it's really good because because for a while I felt good, but like I wrote down a bunch of stuff I wanted to topics within the hour. A bunch of topics I wanted to discuss, and yeah, there's a there's a lot, which is good. Okay. Uh, um, very brief, how, how have you been? Very briefly, like what's 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 happening with you? Um, I've been great, man. I've I've um, just been busting as much as I can on Astro Pig, and I'm really really happy with my progress on that. Um, I like the way it's look. I like the way the pages are looking a lot. So I feel really just positive about what, what the way that's going now. Mm -hmm. just very productive feeling productive feeling motivated just very very focused that's good that's really good okay yeah. um so for the convention which is my main focus um mm -hmm. it's like i have what i what i need to do what i need to do because what i feel here, let me tell you how i feel i feel okay. like i have the work but what i need is a physical prince you know mm -hmm. and so tomorrow and i think that's what i might need your help with the most is it doesn't necessarily have to be a talk like this, but I, if you don't mind, I need you to take my head off about making sure that I have everything scanned and actually printed ideally in the next few days, just because I know I'm going to run into roadblocks and the sooner I can get the essentials out, the more stuff I can print. But that's my biggest roadblock right now is just having the physical prints, you know? Yeah, it's a big deal, right? It's a huge deal, right? I think that's what, that's what really messed me up last year too, which I'm not, but it's, 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 that's my main focus. Um, is having the actual prints, but like for my work, do, do you mind if I just kind of ramble on for a second? No, to, I don't. To get you? No, I don't. Okay, no. good. I'm, I'm, uh, so I'm going to write this stuff down. No, you go right ahead. Okay. Um, so uh, let's see. So for my actual, for the actual works, um, you had mentioned too, like, I don't feel like I need everything that I've drawn to be printed, but I, I was going to go through and pick, I think I have six like fully colored prints that I want nine by 12s. Or just larger eight and a half by elevens, but then I have uh, a handful of mini prints too. So I have the hip hop heads, which I oh, think nice. is like a six part series. Yeah, the ones I've been doing. But same That's thing, cool. keep those small. Uh, I have the office pencils I did yesterday when I was waiting for my car to get fixed. I saw those. Uh, yeah. yeah, so I have I got Michael Scott, but I got three other characters. But same mm -hmm. thing, knock out those four. And then I mentioned too, like I wanted to do a Law and Order series, but same thing, it's four characters. <laughs> um, but and those are actually really easy to do too because it's like it's a you know in a perfect world a half hour but just a, a little bit every day those are really really easy to knock out and the fact that they're kind of grouped i think have an appeal because some some things that you mentioned to me too is like it's like the hip-hop heads i really like the idea just because i talked to this other guy yesterday too his name's eric something he's like he gets commissioned by the Big Bang Theory producers to do paintings for them. And like, he's a big time artist up in San Francisco. Uh, he just picked up like a $55,000 commission to do the family portrait for EA Sports Wife. This guy's like, yeah. he's a professional illustrator. So I was like talking his ear off and and his, his drawings are really well done. And what he does is like, he has these really, really realistic paintings. But he- Wait, where, where, did you, where did you talk to this guy? It's uh so that Art Attack SF, you know how we do that comedy art show? Yeah. Um, it's a gallery that hosts us, but the gallery, like, because I'll work the door when we have our comedy shows, and the gallery owners, James and Ashley, they saw me like working the door and they're like, oh man, like you're really good 
at talking to the people and like making sure the right people get in. And they have other events too that they host. So like, hey, could you just swing by every now and then like when we have an event and help us work the door. And so they had one last night that I showed up to. And this one guy, Nori Fujikawa too, man, he's same thing, professional artist in San Francisco, super talented. And I think we're friends, but like, he seems cool to see me and same thing, I pick his brain, but he, he has such a style. Like he's not like, he's not, hyper realistic technical but he has such a recognizable style and i asked him i was like yo like how'd you get your style and he goes you know you just got to draw a lot yeah i picked his brain about that very helpful but this eric guy like this guy you know has a gallery in los angeles and like he has his own studio in in a hunter's point or something but um but i was talking to him about because he does these he does these hyper realistic paintings and in every painting there's like a robot or a donut or you know usually multiple robots multiple donuts but like that's his thing you'll have something going on and then a donut hiding in the background mm-hmm. like that's his thing so i was talking to him about like how we kind of came to that idea and he made a really good point he goes you know it's at a certain point when it comes to technical skill everybody kind of reaches a certain point like some people are better than others but everybody gets yeah. to like professional level he goes you got to find something that makes you distinct like something yeah. that makes you stand out and I and I and I I told him like oh like a style and he was really he didn't like the word style he's like no it's not your style he goes your uniqueness kind of shows the way that you think so mm-hmm. I mean it was That's a different approach That's it's, yeah because I was like I was like how'd you get your style he's like no it's not a style it's it's this is how I think like that's that's my thoughts yeah, reflected. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So I thought that was an interesting point but like but he but what he was saying too it's like everybody gets to a level where. Like you can draw really, really well, but what kind of sets you apart? What makes yeah, it interesting? Right, right, right. So I know you mentioned that too. Like you know, the it's the the same concept of masks and monsters, where it's like everybody can draw Spider Man really well. Yeah. You know, so with the hip hop heads, I don't know. Like I, I'm I'm really apt to that. And then you had said too, it's like if you if I'm drawing, if I'm only drawing Captain America and I'm only drawing Venom, like it's cool, but you know, it's it's mm-hmm. not necessarily me. The hip hop heads, I, I think a lot of people are really into rap and I've been getting good reception with that too. So it's like, it's something, but it's something I enjoy most importantly. Uh, same yeah, with right, the office right. and same with Law and Order. So that's why like, I feel like if I had these little bundles and you know, I, of course I'm going to have like, you know, Wonder Woman and the Joker and stuff. But like, I, I just thought having something more personal to show the convention mm-hmm. instead of like, cause you had said it too, like at, at San Jose Comic Con where it's like, you can draw Wonder Woman really well, but so can that guy, you know? Right. So, mm-hmm. so I'm sorry. So that's my mindset going into, and the fact that there it's a half hour, like nothing hyper realistic. And it kind of just shows people what I'm capable of at least at these tiny flashes on a small scale. So that's, that's my thought process of doing these mini personal series, as opposed to seeing how many superheroes I could pump out. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I definitely understand that. Okay. Do you have any thoughts or? or, or? No. Well, I, yeah, I think you're on the right track. Um, okay. That's that's kind of where I I feel like I I was mm-hmm. in the convention scene. I was doing superheroes, and that was my main sale. But I think people got a vibe for who I was because I added a certain element of humor and, mm-hmm. and or uh, creepiness. You know, that was kind of that's the way I think that right. those those were very much a reflection of like me. I have a very very dark sense of humor, mm-hmm. and I, I like to make things you know, the scary version of like Ronald McDonald or whatever. The um, Punisher, the, the Pokemon Go, like. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So just making, it's just, I, I just find the humor and in, in, that's my humor style. So people mm-hmm. felt that and that's the feedback that I would get from people so they, they could really feel um, my passion for it, you know? Right. Um, so I, I sounds like you're on the right track. I, I, I really respect and I like the, the fact that you're doing the office and hip hop. Like you're, you're going to stick out for content and I think mm-hmm. your your delivery has gotten better and better and better too. It has. Well, sorry. So there's there's a bunch of stuff I wrote down. One thing I wanted to write yes. was was how I feel like my styles changed, and probably in the last couple of months since we last spoke, but mostly due to your advice. Hmm. A lot of it was like my inking style. It was really funny that that picture of Link I did. My fucking roommate. He's 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 unbelievably talented. He's so much better than I am. Mm-hmm. Um, but I did that picture of Link, and he commented too. He's the first one to comment like right when I posted it. He goes, "That's the best thing you've drawn yet." And I was like, "Really?" And then he goes, he goes, yeah, you usually do this really weird thing with your lines when you ink. And I was just <laughs> laughing. And I was like, that's exactly what Justin Prime says, too. He's like, you go, like, thin and thick, and I don't know if you have the control over the pen yet, like, mm-hmm. like you should. And that's exactly what Joe said, too. Joe's like, yeah, you usually do these weird things with your lines. He goes, this is perfect, just, like, just going with the lines and then going over lines as they need to be thickened. Yeah, yeah. 
So, so that's you, you really have made a. I'm gonna look at your Instagram right now. Actually, yeah, I'll, bring, yeah. I'll bring it up on here so we can record it. Um, you you really did make a turning point with uh, your inking in particular, but also your confidence, your speed. I mean, everything is just upgraded. Ah, you that's really, really that makes leveled up in in uh, every way. I think, dude. I really appreciate. It. I'm just really happy to hear. Thank you for that. For sure. Uh, but I mean, same thing. It's, it's come to at your advice because I, I felt really good about that that brush pen for a while, and now it's like I really have to force myself to look for places to use it. I don't use it nearly as much as I do as I did before. Um, yeah, it, well, you're making more conscious choices about about when you're going to use it. You're not just using it because it's cool or because that's what artists are supposed to do, but right, you're actually, right. You're actually understanding the tool uh, as a tool. Like you don't use mm -hmm. a hammer when you're screwing something in. You use a hammer when you need to hammer something, right? <laughs> It's very well put. That's what's up. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. You're right. Uh, Let me take a look. Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. And also, like, so with the mediums I've been using, another huge leap that's really helped me out is to set myself essentially like a, I set myself a half hour timer, but um, but I've I've done some pieces where like I'll spend 15 minutes on the. It's it's kind of I, not not to toot my own horn, but what's in what I've noticed as a huge improvement on my own end is the penciling speed where same thing. I got this mm. review, but it's like when I pencil, this one actually took me a couple more iterations where I drew it small and I liked it. I liked this small drawing so much that I blew it up and I actually did a bunch of like that's beautiful, drawings. Man. Thank yeah, you, man. That's great. That's great. I mean, this, this is solid. It's, it's just a nice solid drawing. Right. Um, and you didn't do, it didn't feel like you're trying to do too much. Mm -hmm. And it, it felt like in the past you were, I don't know. You were trying to do too much. I, I'm not sure how to explain that better right now. <laughs> no, but no, see, no. Your, your focus is on the character, is on the moment, is mm -hmm. on wardrobe. Like that's all really cool, detail kind of stuff. And it, it almost feels to me like the execution of the inks was secondary. It was like I want to get the thing down right first, yeah, and then, and then kind of finish it off with proper inking. You know. Well, I don't know if you can scroll. Does left. that make sense? No, no, absolutely. Because right. I, I don't know if you can. Because on that image, it has different ones. Like I have the pencils too. Uh, I'm looking. Um, at, I can't. Yeah, oh, I, don't, I, can't. I don't know. That's, yes, that's it. No, that's not right. Yeah. No, I can't. I just, I'm looking at it online, like not. Right. Oh, no, it's weird on the. Oh, nice. So like, so that's those are the pencils. The same thing you had mentioned this too. Uh, hmm. I took it to complete pencils, but if you go over one more. That yeah. was like, yeah. I sketched this out in my sketchbook before too. And I've actually never really done this where I've done a finished naked figure, but it's like, it's like I've drawn clothes and stuff before, but it seems sometimes kind of hollow or empty, but like, yeah, I figured out the pose and then I did the body. Great, and man. Thank you. man. Yeah, it, was, like, it was very like you were focused on each step. Uh -huh. and I don't, it, I don't, did you get lost in each? Like I know before you would get lost and kind of meander yeah. and, well, like it, I said, it seems like you were very focused and you knew what you wanted. Mm -hmm. I had started small and like, and when I started okay. small, I actually just really liked the pose and then I actually kind of plotted out. And I think on the other one too, I had a post right after it showing the steps, but I started small and like before I had a pose, I was like, that's good, but I really wanted to, to, to nail it. And what, just like what, the were you, twist. what were you feeling when you did, when you did the initial pose? Just the twist, like the that. No, but that like we talked oh. a lot about, you know, emotionally. Were, were you mm -hmm. focused on that at all, or was it more about just you wanting to get the? No, it was right? definitely like it, it was more like adventure, like wanderlust, or kind of mm -hmm. like tension. And so I have it, I have it mostly colored on my phone too, and the colors kind of well, the background's too light, so I want to make it moody. But like that's why I have the skull, like the danger, and like you don't really know what's coming up next. Mm -hmm. Like, like it, I was thinking D and D too, like ex exploration kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Um, but also I try to keep some elements of design in it. So there's the triangle with the torch, the fairy, mm. Navi, and the skull. There's like a and because that's what I was thinking too of like that the tracks. Yeah, dude. yeah. But it's there's pieces like this because before all I would do is pieces like this, and it would take me, you know, month to finish one thing. I know. So it's you're, right, you're but this so, man, you were so much more productive now. Right, and this, but it's for me, and I appreciate that. Thank you, but it's good to know that I can still do that, and I at least have a different approach now. Like it's good to still do pieces like that. This but, is uh, like this. Look at, I mean, look at the change from Eminem right here mm -hmm. to whoever this guy is. The weekend. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Um, <laughs> this is nice too. Wow. See that one? Um, I did that but, one before, and oh, sorry, you're saying. This is a, it's a good jump because this one reads pretty flat. I mean, I don't know how much time you put in each of these, but this yeah. one has. You could tell with the core shadow right there. Yeah, yeah. That you you really sold that this is like a rounded 
uh, or you know, uh, a head. You know, it's mm-hmm. got a proper like shape to it. Well, the M M&M uh, was my first one, and that was a half hour, and that was a half mm-hmm. hour flat. So it was it was really quick. The okay. NOS, I think, was a half hour. Or I think I bumped that one up to forty five with the inking. Okay. But then the weekend, the guy with the hair, same thing. I I gave myself a forty five minute window, but I think that one took an hour to do because okay. I didn't like the pencils. But it's still like this. That's, I did. That's a, that's a nice solid piece. It's a, Thank it's, you. That's a nice sketch for an hour. That's really nice, man. This is like this one. Good. I, I like the black and white stuff going on right here. Thank you. I hated that one, but what? it was like Welcome. just because I did that one first. I hated it, so I did the other artist again, like in twenty minutes. But just it's really flat. Like his braids and the headband are mm. like they're just it just looks super messy in the dove. But it but it, it is. But I, I think there's a nice quality to it. I don't know something about that kind of speaks mm. to me. Um, but uh, yeah, you're, you're producing some really interesting stuff. Thank you. This one got a really good reception too. I actually like how it turned out. Cool. Uh, but uh, but see, but it's it's nice because I can do these things. Oh, wait, oh, oh, sorry, the music. Thank you. Um, how, can I mute that? I don't. I don't think I can mute it. Can you hear the music? No. Nah. You didn't hear that? Mm. I have to figure out how the audio thing works here. <laughs> Yeah, that's nice. Thank you, man. Yeah, but it's, I, I it's, can hear the music and I can't hear you, so I'm not gonna. Oh, okay. But it's the same thing. These are all a lot of the pieces are from what I got from you. Where it's like, when I was drawing that Joker that one time at the convention, and I was, I felt like I was getting too in my own head and too technical. Right. right. And you were just saying like, all right, what's the most important thing? So that's why I want to put myself on a time limit. It's like, all right, in ten minutes, pencils. What's the most important part? You know, that's 20, cool. That's cool. Nice. Then this one too. So this one I want to make uh, take to a print, and I like the way it turned out. And I think I'm getting more of a feel for my style, where it's just the the tertiary, not tertiary, but like the three colors. Because the Hellboy I fully mm. rendered, but I, same thing. It's nice to know that I can do that, but I don't necessarily always have the time to to fully render. So like for, for card designs and other commissions that I haven't taken yet, but I'm going to take in the future. But for commissions, this is the style I'm going to go with. Whereas. Okay. Uh, the, the three colors because it, it just gets too much to like you're your coloring yeah. is spot on right now Thanks. um i haven't gotten there yet as far as speed's concerned well i appreciate okay. that man thank you i want to no, make sure no. i want to make sure i'm just kind of looking through stuff right now but I'll, I'll, yeah. wait what happened to what happened to this that one the uh, muscle core yeah it's still going on man but so that's so that's i'm sorry so that's also something we're going to be selling is uh the half issue of muscle core. So all the pages are done. Well, all mm. the pages are inked. We still have to color two or three of them, but that's another, like, that's going to be. <laughs> Dude, sorry. The crazy, sorry, the sorry. crazy thing about this one, it got a hundred, like, I know it's not a big deal, but 103 likes, like it got yeah. more likes than a lot of the other shit I drew, which is cool. Dude, I can never predict that stuff. It's got 426. That's dang, man. Remember that, that the LSI rapper good. guy, he reposted it. Remember? Yeah. And I emailed you. I was like, oh, I'm yeah, yeah. Boy right now. <laughs> Anyhow, so what's going on with Muscle Core? You're selling a half issue of it or something? So yeah, so we're selling a half issue, but same thing. Like like I said, I, I we should be talking more because like what you had said last too, where I really pulled back on the project. Where mm-hmm. um, where uh, the Spider Man too. I like that watercolor Spider. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was still figuring out how to do the video recording with those. This is uh, nice. That's nice. Yeah, and same. I don't. I don't know how. I really like the way it turned out, but I don't know like how I did it. And I don't know if I can recreate it, so it's upsetting. You probably didn't overthink it. So what's going on with Muscle Core? You're selling a half issue and that's it or what? Selling half issue. Yeah. But yeah. what you had said was was really good advice where it's like I pulled back where I'm not pumping nearly as much time into it. Oh yeah. And so I also have those Inktober prints and the TMNT prints that cool. that haven't gotten finished finished. But it's just it's more things I can sell. Oh, we, we, we gotta, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop this. We gotta focus on one thing at a time. Okay, muscle core. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. So most of core half issue, but I took your advice and I'm pulling back. So so I just told him I'm inking and same thing. We'll meet up and I'll give him hard deadlines. I'll try to keep him focused. But um, but it's it's I mean, we can have it done before the convention comes. Um, but I'm not putting as much time into it as I was before. Whereas like I gotta prioritize and make sure I get my own stuff out there. Um, which you would kind of drop that gem gem on me before which is very but, helpful. right but but is that um, like did you actually make that mental shift or are you just doing what yeah. i meant it to you no 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 no. they they and they they've acknowledged it too like i told them i was like yeah yo like here's what i can do and they they totally understand too because it's like like i said for as much as i work you know the government jobs i put a lot of time into the art stuff too um but they they understand and and between the two of them like they should be able to 
finish it, but also, uh, but I was talking, this is, this is similar too, but I was talking to my dad the other day and he was asking me how the art stuff was going. And I mentioned muscle core and I mentioned what you had said too. And I told him like how, cause it was, it's sometimes frustrating cause they won't always hit deadlines. And my dad said the same thing you said. My dad was just like, drop them. And I told him, I was like, look, I'm not going to drop them, <laughs> but like, they know that I got to focus on myself. Mm -hmm. Um, but he said the same thing too, where it's like, but oh, then, then he asked me, he goes, but like, who are you surrounding yourself with that's really pushing you? And I told him about, mm -hmm. I told him about you. I was like, you know, Justin Prime, like, with all the stuff that he has going on, you know, the work, the family, and the month that he's producing, like, that's who I'm trying to surround myself with. Really, like, he put, yeah. like, you, you pushed me definitely. So I told him about that. And then being at the gallery, too, like, meeting, like, Nori Fujikawa yeah. and this Eric guy, like, just seeing the level they produce at. Like, I'm not my roommate, Joe, super talented. I'm not at their level, but being around those people really pushes me to you know be more productive and 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 really uh refine my style <laughs> yeah so muscle core is being finished but i I'll, i don't sweat it as much as i did when we talked last about yeah, yeah. It, deadlines. It's, it's where it needs to be right now i'm glad to hear you got some peace about that yeah yeah yeah. and they understand too which is very cool because they they know and they're they're a lot more like hey man if you can't make it if you can't do this good but uh yeah yeah cool so no more weekly uh mario kart sessions <laughs> well, also fun fact, I don't know if you can see, but these headphones are the Bose noise canceling headphones. I, I treated myself oh, nice. uh, because because okay, so another another <laughs> art goal thing I'd like for myself, convention, I, I would like to revisit to make sure we get some hard deadlines, but another yeah. art goal I would like to have for myself is um I'm still doing Trader Joe's 4 a.m. to noon, but I'm not doing the school part time. So I only have one job, which is nice. Okay. And over the summer, I really want to focus on getting a business model down for like what I'm charging and all that stuff. And so I met this other gentleman, Tim, uh, who has his own business and he's very like, he listens to all the same guys I listen to. Uh, and we talked for like an hour and a half and he was very helpful. But I talked, told my dad about this guy named Tim, who was saying he has his own business, is doing really well for himself. And so I want to I want to link up with Tim, and same thing have a very have a very thorough list of questions uh, about setting up a business plan just for my art because because over the summer that's that's my main focus is getting down like prices and scheduling and what projects I'm going to pick up. Um, but yeah, my dad I told him about I told I told my dad about you I told him about Tim and my dad's like those are the people we really need to be like hanging out with and associating with people who are doing it. Mm. <laughs> so uh, okay. so that's very helpful. But that's that's okay. so that's also over the summer. I wanted to set up a good uh, business plan. Business cards. I'll probably just email you, but I need business cards, and I want to do a final pass over my website. Um, Have you changed that at all? The website? Mm -hmm. mm, hardly. I changed the prices, but the same thing. I, I tell. Okay. I mean, because it's like it's one of those things where it's like. There's so much to do. I never know where to start, and so I yeah, did the prices. Yeah, totally. But you know, there's always more art I got to upload, and like old art I want to take off. Um, but the but the website, I just want something simple so people can see my prices. And I always tell people the advice you gave me too about how uh, how you charge way more. Than you, it's like this is how much you have to pay me to take me away from what I want to do. Yeah, that's right. Uh, really, yeah. Yep. Because you're not because we're not in a spot like where we have to like take any job we can get. Yeah. So that was really helpful, but I still I still think I need to bump up my prices because people when I was doing that link picture, the guy approached me, this guy named Chad, and he's like, "Hey, do you do business cards? It's really good." I said, "Sure." I told him I was like, "That's not really what I do, but I can, you know, if the price is right." And so this is the guy that I have. It's it's cool, and he's very helpful, but I still I, I think I need to bump those prices up again, or just not take those jobs because another guy came up to me too, a Phil's. He's like, "Hey, do you do murals?" And I was telling my dad, mm. I was like, "Look." Like I could do a mural, but I told my dad, I was like, that's not really what I want to do. And I think it'd be more stress than it would be worth it. But then my dad was like, look, if the price is right, like if he's going to pay you what you think it's worth, then, you know, yeah. but, but still, I, I do think, I think talks like this really help ground me because jobs like that, like it's, it's really cool in theory, but I think it is also more distracting than it is like <clears throat> for mm -hmm. me to, to make uh to make movement or or, or move forward in, in the convention scene because ideally i do right right you know I'm, I'm not sure how much i can lend you as far as like your business model thing and i'm glad you have someone that you can kind of and our, our time <laughs> we only have two talks left this is it and one more right 
So yeah. I'm, glad, I'm glad you you're talking. To, who is it, Tim? Tim, yeah. I'm glad you have someone like Tim that can help you get to that next level with money and um, mm -hmm. business model stuff because that's not, we haven't spent a whole lot of time on that. It's been more about style and conventions. Yeah. So and that's I don't know if I can take you any further than that. Um, so I'm glad you have that set up already. That's a really good idea. That's sad though. This this is your growth. This is where you need to go. At. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> I'm not sick. No, I told Tim too. What's no. up? You know, keep in, we'll keep in contact. It's, it's just yeah. that. Yeah, but no, this is a good thing. Your, your, your growth, you're ready for the next step. It feels good. I just, I think this convention is really crunch time for me because this is like my first actual convention too. But the thing is, so we got this. So I think I told you, we got this at the end of this month, October, we got uh, Campbell Comic Con, which I think is huge because it's like local. and. I think that'll there. be a good one, yeah. And that's all rich people. Campbell, do Campbell, California? And it's yeah, it'll be a, it'll be good to get the Pleasanton one out of the way, and then really really get the Campbell one down, and then also uh, mm. SF Zine Fest. I'm almost certain we got. I got to double check too, but there's two other ones lined up, good for you, and there's man. there's more to come. But it's it's uh it's happening. I think I was so I was telling Tim because like I'll set up to record, and he was asking me, and I gave him the whole spiel. But we did. I know I usually kind of not brush people off like that because usually it's just more distracting to tell them like, but you know I'll I'll talk to him, but but. I, I was talking to Tim very briefly and we ended up talking like for, you know, hour and a half and he was asking me, you know, and I told him I went to school and stuff, but I told him, I was like, besides school, like I found a mentor and that was way more helpful than school ever was. And he's that same way. He's like, yeah, man, like that's, that's the best thing you could do for yourself yeah. is find a mentor. So I was telling him about like how we had these talks, but then I was also telling him too, like, it's cool, but it's kind of sad because I was telling, and I tell people like, you know, I have an art mentor just in prime, like unbelievably helpful, but I was telling him, I was like, we used to meet, like it wasn't once a week. But it was every other week, right? We started. I think at first, yeah. Yeah, so it was like every other week or once a month. Maybe every, I think every I think other week. Every for, other week for sure. So yeah. I was like, we used to meet every other week, and then we used to meet once a month, and then we'd meet every two months. And now it's just kind of like, but it's it is nice to feel that like to see the progress instead of like I don't feel as dependent. Like, hey, you know, what yeah, should exactly. I exactly exactly. You know? But it's still like, but stuff like this where it still really pushed me like in a bunch of ways. I need to be pushed, so it's very helpful. So. Uh, yeah. So that's well, so look, you, you, have, you have a prints issue. Um, you have a fees issue, which is, it's, are you talking about commissions, like commission prices and what to charge? I think I just need to not take jobs that, because I told my dad too, okay. it's like, it's like, you know, people, you tell people you're an artist and they go, oh, hey, can you design, you know? Right, right, right. Very different rooms. And I have a tendency, because even the people at the gallery are like, hey, we're looking for you know a part-time intern at the gallery. And the gallery would be cool to be a part of because it's art-related. But I just told her I have, a, I have an issue of saying yes to too many things. <clears throat> so as part of that in, in, the con in the context of like taking on too many jobs where I think I need to be more specific about what jobs I take. And if it is like – like if somebody came to you and offered you, let's say, two Gs for your mural, would you do it? Me? Yeah. Um, for... Right? I, uh, it's not an obvious yes for me because that's not my thing. I just, I don't know. You probably could. Then, but I'm sure there would be a dollar amount where I'd be like, yeah, it, yeah, of course. But, you know, if it was two grand for something I was actually into. But yeah. it's like, I don't paint. I don't, I wouldn't know where to start besides getting a bucket of paint. I, w I, I don't know. I wouldn't. Yeah. I probably would say no. Honestly, um, I got, there was someone who hit me up to, to draw his comic. and I, I showed him my fees. And he wasn't scared away, and I ended up saying, "You know, what? I don't. It's just, I don't need it. It's oh, not for wow. me." So that probably would have, would have been a couple grand. So I've already turned that down. So yeah, I probably wow. I, I would probably turn down uh, because I was already I have my own thing I'm working on. I don't want to draw somebody else's right. thing, um, and I, I'm not desperate for the money. So mm -hmm. it, for me in my life right now, it was uh, you know those three criteria for choosing a job is if it's if it's fun, if it pays well, or if it'll give you exposure. That's Jake Parker, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So okay. do, doing someone else's comic for me is not fun whatsoever. Um, I don't care about the pay for it. It's, you know, it's not a really big deal for me. And exposure, crazy, eh. So, yeah. So exposure-wise, it's uh, meh. So it just didn't hit any of the criteria for me when I was thinking about whether or not to accept that. And I almost did because I felt like just, you know, it's a good chance to make money, but... Um, but I thought about those cr three criteria and I realized that just doing my own thing is way more important to me. And, mm -hmm. you know, making a comic takes a long time. That's, it's a huge commitment, commitment. away from my own stuff. And I just, that's not, I don't need that right now. 
Yeah, well, I was going to mention too. We're still getting back to the hard deadlines, but for your stuff too, I just wanted to tell you real quick. I I do. I feel very bad. Same thing. Go back to the to the my issue I found with myself of saying yes to too many things. Like I'm really upset that I'm not a part of that Discord community anymore. Mm. Like it's, but it was just there was too many things I wasn't doing for myself yeah. already. I mm -hmm. just, I just, I feel bad, but I'm really happy that, like, I'm like, really happy that you're running it. And I was going to say, I feel like with you personally, overall, I've noticed, I don't know how to say it, more joy, I guess, ever since you kind of picked up Astro Pig, something about it. Oh, like, yeah. It's just a right. general change. But do you, do you feel like... Yeah. <laughs> I really do. I really do. Good. I really do. I feel, because um, it, in, it incorporates uh, pretty much every element of my life. Like, there's elements of... Um, what I do with kids in therapy, there's elements of my, it's safe for my kids to read. So it's family mm -hmm. friendly. Mm -hmm. That's a big deal to me. And it's a hundred percent mine. It's not a borrowed idea. It's completely mine. And that's a big, big deal to me. That's so, huge. Man. Yeah. It's, it feels, I feel more whole. Absolutely. That's good. Well, the podcast too, I was going to say a podcast. Mm -hmm. was like, it's so cool to see every week and you got set up and the, the Somna interview you did too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I love that, man. That yeah, really un unfortunately, I don't know if you're still listening to the cast at all, but I, I have to take a step back because I realized um, I was putting podcasting before Astro Pig, uh, which is not bad, and I really yeah. enjoy it, but it was kind of like the frustration of not moving fast enough on Astro Pig was getting to me, and I, I was feeling like I, I have to get going now. I have to really produce faster. I want to finish this. So mm -hmm. I, I've suspended the uh, interviews for the podcast for until I'm done with Astro Big. But it's good so, that you you know how to do it and you got your foot in the door. So if you get a healthy balance between the two, like yeah. you know. So I continue my uh, my weekly podcast, just my weekly check in, which is really helpful for me personally. And um, I'm talking to you right now. I'll publish this, um, but I'm not setting up any new interviews unless it was like the right person. Right. The AIC too is extremely helpful. The yeah. I want to do more of those. I like those. Yeah. Uh, but say I just yeah, I just wanted to, to to shout you out too, and I was gonna say your your work's taking big old leaps too. Everybody in the Discord community, they have all like that Lenny Hands cat. Mm -hmm. man. Have you seen what he's doing now, dude? I've been I've been every time, like I don't even know how to say it. the Thanos and like there's a few things like I would draw over and send to him, and he and, you know he had it, and I'm pretty jealous of like how big leaps he's taking. And you can see his yeah. style's getting like solid where he's getting these things yeah. down. And I'm like, I can't even face what he's doing. It. Oh man. He's a he's a really good example of of what's of the good things going on there right now because he's made some huge jumps huge. recently. Huge. Not not to say his old stuff was bad or by any means, but it's like his old stuff to his new stuff in that amount of time. Like it hasn't been that long. I know. I think being part of that community is 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 unbelievably Just, well. It's like what you said earlier about having the right supports and mm -hmm. the, the community right now is is small and you're welcome back at any time because I know yeah. that I know you're the right person for it because you're motivated and you, you can take feedback and that's a big part of being in the group. Mm -hmm. So pretty much everyone there is on that path. So it, it's a great it's small, but it's it's a really good group of people right now. Very, very other quick side tangent. I noticed last time I remember checking, I think I told my roommate Joe about it, but mm. I had seen a, like a little back and forth you had with the gentleman who was like, oh man, I don't have the right tools, so I can't do it yet. And you were just like, that's bullshit. <laughs> you remember that? Um, that's come up a couple of times, yeah. Really? Outside in, of that? In the, in the Discord community? The same, just outside, like, outside of that one instance, it's happened a couple of times? Um, well, I, I'm not sure who you're referring to. Um, there's one instance like I'm thinking of. I don't think you were. I think that was after you, after I kicked you out, though. Mm -hmm. um, actually, so I don't know. I don't know. I'm surprised this happened more than one. I remember it was a big thread, and like people were kind of chipping in, but it was going back and forth pretty intense. Yeah, yeah. I know who, yeah, that. That wasn't. No, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah. 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 But I, but like you were saying, like it's, that's one of the places where you gotta be open to criticism. Like you gotta, you gotta, you're there to grow. You know. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll I'll bite my tongue every like. I try yeah, to, I, I try to, and even with you, I try to feel out when people are ready to hear something or not. <laughs> what? I'm always ready. You have not always been ready, <clears throat> but 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 you, I I think early on you were open to to getting mm -hmm. feedback and stuff. Actually, yeah, you for early right off the bat, you definitely were ready yeah. to. I, I to, assume to hear, like you, I you, were, you were, you were, you were, you were, you're right, you're right. But not okay, everybody okay. is. Like it was just interesting to see because like, like I said, that Lenny hands is a good example where yeah. like, I would feel bad cause I drew over a couple of things, but he was like, he was very open. And there was one time I kind of like, I DM'd him. He, he drew his character and I was like, yo, like 
what I'd recommend is draw the head first, then put the mask on because sometimes yeah. the facial features shift. And he was just like, hey, man, thank you. Like, I, I thought about that. I kind of noticed it. And it just because I felt I felt rude be like, oh, here's what I would do, you know, but right, he was right. really so I think that he's a perfect example of like being open because you have to be in that community and you have to be open to other artists giving you advice and and like I guess he's do. a perfect example and you see his work growing and changing too it's like I, I think the community you have there is perfect it saddens me that some like I said I don't I don't know I haven't been there for a minute but it does sadden me that that some people are a little bit more uh, defensive but I just I think as an artist you got to be open to hey how do I get better? I, I agree and like I said for the <laughs> most part everyone there is very mm -hmm. open to feedback um, but yeah, I'll, I don't want to. We'll, we'll no, 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 yeah, so no. This is this. Is, I, I don't mind. I don't mind saying. But the same thing. The Luke Lab Five guy, like his stuff too. I've seen his stuff. Like he's always been good. He's just getting yeah. better. <sighs> yeah, I don't. I don't. He's Luke is really, really, really talented. Yeah. And um, I feel like he's, and I'm not. I don't know if it's because of the group or feedback or whatever. But he's just. <laughs> it seems like he's just trying new things all the time and just. Mm -hmm. Doing some really, really good. I'm just super impressed, and he works really fast too, which I hate. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but same thing. Being in that environment gets you pumped up to to get stuff out quicker. You maybe you know, I, and I I don't think I've ever asked him about that. Um, he just kind of works independently, and uh, at a really high level and a very mm -hmm. fast level. Um, so I don't. I never really asked him more about that. And, but it's, it's it's like I said. Back to the basic point. I'm 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 very happy that you put together a community like that yeah. to help out. You know, artists at the same level, and you know, some that can help out others, but all all the, in that same I guess spot of like wanting to draw, being part of that Instagram. But like that's that was a genius idea, and I'm glad to see the results too. Well, that was that was Lenahan's idea, Jack Lenahan. He that was his idea. Oh, punk. He's too good. <laughs> Makes me upset. He was ready. He was ready. <laughs> I'll only get back okay. to you though. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Yes. Always welcome oh. back. You were always welcome back to the group. Okay, thank I, you. I only kicked you out because you weren't active, and then I talked I, to you about it, and you said I'm just, I'm not in that space, and that's totally fine. I know. Do, do your thing. Come back when you're ready. Okay. Um, all right. So Prince fees accepting jobs. I don't know how much. Let, let's focus on the convention, okay? Yeah, because accepting jobs. I just that's more just me to vent. Like I don't. I don't, I think I'm just gonna, especially like these car designs. I'm done for the rest of the month, and then that's something I'll talk to Tim. Like I'm not. I'm not okay, really good. concerned. But uh, and, then you, the and then you brought up the website. That's I think it's important. I think it's if you're gonna have cards for your convention that you sh they mm -hmm. should link to the website, right? Yeah, Instagram also, and then by right. email. So it's just Metcalf illustrations, and I got I have two designs. I'm gonna email them to you probably tomorrow. To get your feedback, but uh, but the business cards website, like those are those are each a day each. I could I could knock those out one day, one sitting. Yeah, you don't have to have much there, dude. I, right. I don't think I don't think, but. Yeah, I don't think. But the printing, I think I just, I just, I feel like I just need to tell you, look, I'm gonna have these prints this day, and then call you or send you pictures or something, just because, because I was gonna do it today. <laughs> okay. And here we are. But I want them done over this weekend, just to scan everything. When's the, when's the convention? Twenty eighth. July twenty eighth. Mm -hmm. What's today? See so you have a few weeks. All right, good. Still, though, I don't. Well, so also, like, I wrote down a loose thing because it's funny. Whenever I think of like what I would charge somebody, sometimes I'm like, when I when I think of the prices quick, I'm like, that's what Prime would charge. I can't charge that, which is a good which is a good rule of thumb. But uh, we, we've we've talked a lot about pricing. What, yeah. So what's what's the hold up here? What's okay? What are you stuck on? Well, because like I'd seen when I was looking at your pricing on your website, like same thing, uh -huh. veteran moves. It's like, is it colored? Is it full body? Is there a background? Is there a likeness? Is it black and white? Is it grayscale? Is it pencil? Is it ink? Do I? No, okay. no, 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 no. Yeah, those are all. For, for my website, I don't, I don't nickel and dime for that stuff. No, you, no, 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 you don't. But, but like, so yeah. you have like, you have eleven by seventeen size, which sizes, I don't think yeah. I sizes, right. I don't know if that's something I'll offer, but then it's like not just the size, but the combination of size of fully colored or watercolor or Copics or. Um, so I break the. So let's just talk about the convention, okay? Okay. Or do you want to talk about your website and what you should be charging for other things? No, I, I'm not overly concerned right. about that. So let's, let's focus on the convention. Can I tell so, you what it's scribbled down? Sure. Okay, sorry. So I didn't mean to cut you off, but no, it's thirty dollars for a full body on like a nine by twelve, like Spider Man or Superman or whatever. Twenty dollars for a bust on a nine by twelve. Ten dollars for a five by seven, and then that I try to do ten dollars for a five by seven. Okay. 
And then like a $40 nine by 12 portrait. Like if somebody says, hey, draw, because portraits are more difficult because you have to capture the likeness. Like nobody's gonna it is. nail me on, on it Captain is. America. So that's why I don't. I, I I would bump up. But then it's like, okay, what if I do a five by seven portrait? Is do I have to bump that up? Like, what if somebody wants a likeness of somebody drawn as Superman? Like, so what, what do you what do you think? <clears throat> um, I think the way the prices that you have are good starting points. Mm -hmm. So, but that's not your final price it's just what you're starting at right so if you notice that you're selling these then bump mm -hmm. it up okay it's beautiful <laughs> but that's not doesn't seem but that doesn't seem too crazy right like ten dollars no. five by seven no that's a great price i think it's you'll that you'll you'll be able to tell right away if people are into what you're doing or not and i think same thing i, I think that you help me a lot too when it comes to not spending too much time on it and that's why i think i've been practicing the five by sevens too so that yeah like i, I don't spend four hours on, you know, a little thing and then <laughs> get backlogged. But uh but I, I think also the pleasant the powerhouse <coughs> convention is a perfect like starting point just to go there, set up and just, you know, see how things go. Mm -hmm. That's a smaller one, right? Yeah, it's just a one day thing. It's in Pleasanton, so there there's there's money in Pleasanton, but um it's a you know, I think it's a maybe a first year convention. Oh, I is think it, I don't I don't know I am asking you. Because it used, it was Colossus Con last year. Oh, and that was pretty small. Um, was super small. Yeah, so it's not going to be a huge convention, but it's a great starting. Point. It's a great starting point mm -hmm. for you. Um, it's a great way to. Yeah, it's, it's, there'll be a lot of benefits to this, but you know, if it's if it's slow, and no one's buying anything, don't. It's not about you. It's just that's the, that's the culture okay. of the convention. And so also, so okay, so let me for your for your for the sculpture stores. You're selling those at three dollars an issue. I think I was just trying to dump them off. So yeah. Okay. See, because we because our half issue was like, I don't know. I, I same know. thing. I I would I would prefer to have them be out than to make money from them. You know. Yeah. I I don't I don't know if people are really making a whole lot of money in, in comic Indeed books in so. the first place. Right. Yeah. Right. I mean, I, at first I had sculptures for five bucks each, but they cost like two fifty to print. So there's right. not there's not a whole lot of profit to be made in the first place so that's why me selling it for three bucks is just like i want people to get into what i'm doing yeah um, i'm not going to make much money on, on, on at that point on sculptures just right. self you know, self printing and then selling at conventions there wasn't i wasn't going to do a whole lot there that wasn't my goal uh astro pick is different because i, I want to get this published i want i want someone else to kind of do that you know right but uh, yeah I so I, I don't if you're looking to make money off of uh muscle core muscle core i, I just I don't know. I and that's not this genuine that we're looking to do. We're just looking to like I think it's more for well us as a group, but them too is just to have a finished project at a convention. Like but sure. just yeah, yeah, something right, to start right. with. Um but I noticed when I was when I was with you behind your booths, like people would see your style and come up and see like the prints and laugh and then like and then kind of <laughs> gear towards the comic afterwards too. But like once yeah. they once they kind of you know saw what you did, because it's tough, we talk about this, it's tough to like Walk up to a fully creator owned. The, the toughest one I've seen is is people trying to sell their book. <sighs> Man, yeah. that's tough. Yeah. But so I think it's more difficult to sell without establishing some familiarity. It is. There, I've seen people be successful with it. Um, there's a guy called Super Ugly, or it's not his name, but he his product is called Super Ugly, mm -hmm. and it sold really really well from what I could tell just from a distance. But he had it like he had a great signage and stuff. Like it looked like a legit. Operation, know, but, but yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, exactly. It wasn't just some guy threw a tablecloth down and some books on top of it. Right. It was. It was like you could see it from a distance. The artwork was cool. Um, he's a, he was a good guy. Like the just the artist, the creator, who was just a genuine like fun guy to talk to. So he had it all going on. It looked like he did pretty well. That's good. Um, so I think you can do it, but if you're selling half size half issue. Yeah. scenes, and they're basically, I mean, I don't. I just no, don't, no, no, no. <laughs> You're right, and that's why it's not. That's why, like, that's why I feel bad too. I told him, like, I got to pull back and really kind of make my own body of work. Right, Same thing. Right. It's still, it's still very much in the works, but uh, but I, I like the direction it's going in. Or these tiny personal groupings, and then also last thing, and then we'll, and I swear after this we're getting to dates. But I talked to Tim because we're both really into, like self development and stuff, and so he said like there's not many people that can talk, you know. Gary V. There's not too many people that can talk Gary V. in comic books. Mm -hmm. So he's like, why don't you try to like, combine those two and try to do like, you know, yeah. uh, 
so I, I thought that was that was an interesting idea. I still have to like look at it and develop it. It's probably something I'll mentally tackle after the convention. But I I do like the same thing because of you. I think a good concept is sticking with these personal series or these personal things that that, that I enjoy doing. Yeah, yeah. I thought about that too because I I enjoy all that stuff. You know, Gary mm-hmm. Vee in particular. But what was I think there's an easy combination there because and I think independent creators are the best people to talk to about motivation and, and whatnot, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Um, because there's, there's so many excuses out there. <laughs> but, and even with the podcast, I have plenty of opportunities to do that, but it's just, that's not me exactly. Um, and especially because I haven't completed my own thing. So right. once once I complete Astro Pig, I might get more of that kind of flavor going. I don't know if that's really me, honestly. But um, you know, it's but documenting your process is very much Gary V. Um, yeah, and that looks different for every single one of us. So that's what I'm doing is documenting my process, and I think I could do more. I haven't quite figured out how. Um, you know what I mean? No, for sure. And it's I think it's the same issue of like because I really think you should you you do a phenomenal the Discord. I think is a beautiful example. But if you had some type of like like this is a mentoring series, but if you did offer like like Instagram reviews or something, because you know how people always like, mm. oh, check out my sketches. Nothing wrong with that, but like, yeah. if you could set up some kind, of, if you could set up some kind of like, yo, know, you know, like we'll talk for, you know, we'll talk once a month, and we we'll set some goals, you know, I have, like I, that. On, I have, I have that option on, on my website. Yeah, I so I have that there. I, ha- I have an option for a free one-on-one talk or mm-hmm. a paid, you know, kind of thing. I have a couple options for mentoring right now on my website. That's good. That's good. Is that yeah. What you yeah, I, I think I think it's definitely a lane. But same thing. I, I know between I the could do I could even do I could do a cheaper version, like you say, just to check out their Instagram and give them some feedback real quick. Yeah, yeah I could do something like that too. It's a good idea. It's just something to think about. But it's, it's I difficult because I have uh, I have your replacement lined up, by the way. That's who? Lenny, fucking Lenny hands? No. <laughs> 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 Not that I care, man. He good folk, but like, I just want to make sure. Who's my replacement? What do you mean I got a replacement? I don't want to announce it yet because we haven't set the date yet, but I, he he already said yeah. So yeah. I'll I'll talk to you about it uh, off the air, okay? Okay. See, empty, I'll, I'll, get, I'll get your approval before I move forward with it. All right. Yeah, that's really sad to hear. But like I was saying too, like not to be a dick, but I want to tell people it's like it was like two weeks to once a month to two months, and then, and then like this talk before is kind of near, and you and thankfully, God, thank God, you reached out to me saying like, when are we talking next? So I thought but I thought we had a schedule, so I was I was thinking about it. I'm like, this hasn't come up yet on my phone. Like, remind me. Mm-hmm. And then I looked at my calendar; it wasn't there. But I really thought we had something scheduled. That's why I wasn't. I was just kind of no. waiting around. That's but anyhow, yeah, let's let's get back on track, man. Okay, so just the dates, and then just... <sighs> the dates for what? I just want to okay. Oh, Tomorrow, for when you print stuff out? Yeah, because I, I think right, you can do this. Uh, easy. Okay. But I, I, I got to scan everything, but that shouldn't take too long. But I want you to give me the dates. You can do this. That's oh, saying. beautiful. Well, I just the only reason I brought up is because uh, I remember with that Samus print, I was talking to you, and you were like, "When are you gonna have it done?" I was like, "Ah, oh, maybe like next week," and you're like, "No, yeah, too long." I was like, two days, you're like, have it done by tomorrow. And I finished it. <laughs> you did, man. <laughs> and you did a good job, too. <laughs> Stupid. I just, I'm so dumb. It's, it's so frustrating. Ah, would you stop that? All right, give me um, give me some dates. What are your steps? Do you know what your steps are as what you need to complete? I got to scan everything. I got to format them, too, because I have my Inktober stuff down, but I just want to format right, grayscale. So, scan. so for <laughs> step one is scanning. And I can scan everything tomorrow. What, what do you do after scan? What else do you have to do? I'm sorry. After you scan it, what do you, what's the next step? Uh, formatting. But I can format as I scan. <sighs> as far as like stuff. size, you mean? Yeah. Right, yeah. So that, that's all. All right. So scan and then do some editing, basically. What about Tuesday? Because Tuesday is my Friday. So I can have them. I can stay up late Tuesday, too. Don't ask me. You tell me. I'm Wednesday morning. <laughs> Just because I might stay up late Tuesday. Printing everything, and then I and then same thing. I haven't finished the Law and Order yet, um, so I'll probably print those individually. But Wednesday morning, okay. Wednesday morning, which is, and then last thing too. I is stupid, but like I picked up those business card designs, and it was cool. But I really got to figure out because I was supposed to have them to them before the twenty first of. Wait, last dude, month. hold on, stop. 
<laughs> so you're gonna scan Wednesday. Scan by Wednesday. All right, what's the next step? No, Fit. Oh no, I'm gonna have everything printed out by Wednesday. Oh okay. Okay. Just you, because I can scan them tomorrow, okay. and then format them in two days, and then Monday, Tuesday print, and then face all the dumb stuff, and then Wednesday morning. Where are you going to print? Uh well, you this is actually either Staples or Kinkos or like. Okay. Probably Staples. Have you done? Have you? Because you, I remember you saying you had your own printer. You used. Yeah, I, and I stopped because it was it was uh, so stressful. Honestly, it was really really stressful. But now you go, you you like. I don't print anything out. out. Right? I don't print anything out That's anymore right. at all. But when at the tail end, I was printing from Office Depot, I think. Okay, so just the walk-in place. Okay. Yeah. And I was. I really actually want to keep my originals and sell copies. Mm -hmm. Right, because I, I know so you have. That's their call. Yeah. Whatever. If you want to keep the original for some reason, why not sell the originals? Would you charge more? Yeah. Okay, they can sell that. I don't. I don't care about them that much. It's up to you. That's, that's just your personal call. I don't like hanging on stuff. That's a really good way of putting it. And I already got pictures of it. Yeah. 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 And then I was thinking like five each, just for this powerhouse. Ten. Sure. Probably five, and then. Well, and you, if they don't sell them, you can carry them over to the next one. Right, but I don't want to sell out. But I'm also that's pretty. <laughs> that's very, very optimistic. Um, so yeah, so what? Um, but uh, yeah, five is probably a good number. Right. Okay. To start off with, if you don't sell them, you carry them over. If, and if you do sell out, well, then you know to buy more of those. Mm -hmm. And they, which, which specific ones too? Because another gem you gave me too, about like you said, setting prices or even having prints is like. And that's what I was talking to my dad about doing the business thing. He's like, oh, you know, you got to – and I says, like, my experience, especially with this, is like I got to go. I got to, like, fall. I got to see what does and what doesn't yeah. work. And I got to see what does and doesn't sell. I got to see what prints sit and what prints move. You just got to mm -hmm. go out there and, like, figure it out. So I think, the, like I said, this fur convention would be good to see which prints do better than others mm -hmm. and then see what the market dictates. You can at least uh, see where the, it, the attention is going from people. Right. Even if it doesn't get purchased, will people pick up the most? I, you know, it's at the small ones, not a whole lot of buying goes on. I mean, it, mm -hmm. it can, but, but, um, yeah. So at least, you know, when people stop by and look, you see what they're looking at. Yeah, definitely. Uh, okay. So five each and then pricing too. sending pricing. I'll probably figure out the day of pressing Wednesday morning, the pricing. pricing. The, oh, okay. Yeah. Why not figure it out before? Well, you, you can figure it out. That's, that's fine. Uh, like, well, you, I was going to do like $2 for five by sevens and then like it kind of depends on how much it costs to print them too that's too that's a good point so why don't you find that out first um mm -hmm. for me to print out 11 by 17 from office depot i'll round up i think it was like two dollars each two per yeah i think that's around i think that's rounding up pretty heavily um well, you'd sell them for 10 though right yeah so i was selling for yeah. 10 okay so that, that was you know 500 percent markup if i'm doing that right well, I was also thinking, but like, ten dollars is still pretty damn low. Yeah, in, yeah. In my opinion. no, you're right. Um, uh, I was thinking of doing like a bundle though, because they are like in theory. So if you know somebody says, "Oh, I like Nas," they could pick up Nas for two bucks. But if they wanted all six or all sure. four of the office or all four of Lawnard, some kind of bundle thing, you know, oh, yep, something like that. So yep, yep. bundle options. But I, I, I do think it's kind of like a like a audible day of kind of figure out kind of thing. You know what you could also do is you have these individual uh, mini uh, portraits. Mm -hmm. you, you could easily line those up into one document side by side and have a profile, um, like a long eleven by seventeen with mm -hmm. all four. With all four, you know what I mean? No, that's a good idea because I was thinking of how I wanted to group them too. Like I would have them on the table because like your stickers did really well. And, like spreading them out was really nice. So people just no, 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 no. Oh, I don't think. You're but but you said, but like having everything on a on one sheet of paper no. too. Well, yeah, but but that's 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 the print. So you'd have, oh. you'd have so you'd have the original copy of uh, prints of the original, the small five by sevens, <laughs> right, 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 and then eleven by seventeen with all of them on it together, side by side by side. Or if there's some other, other kind of cool cinematic posterish kind of feel, you can give it. Um, but I think just having like one, 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 one side by side, all mm -hmm. four of them, you know, with lots of like white space would look really nice uh, as a design. That's a really good idea. 
so that that way you have a whole new print um and if, if that's you know if people are into that and buy you for like 10 bucks yeah or, okay. or whatever because i could even for the law and order in the office the set of four just do like a square uh what do you mean because there's, there's four images so i could okay. put in a square piece of paper so it's one two three four oh yeah just yeah so it's all together but that's a good idea uh, well you could okay. it's, you, you could do the square which is fine um i like the idea of a longer just this is just my design so, sense yeah. I like a longer side by side by side by side i love it yeah this is sad this is it well second to last it third to last it yeah yeah, but it's good though. I gotta spread my wings and shit. I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> when like you know, you can always come back to the group, and that's you know, you'll get the same input if you need it. But I think you're ready to, yeah, definitely spread your wings and tackle this stuff. Yeah, I think what I'll do is after I after I uh, finalize this business card, I think I'll jump back onto the group because also, sorry, last question. Uh, no, whatever. last thing I wanted to point because I do need to be snoozing soon. Okay. Uh, but I feel same thing thanks to you. I feel as though my my Instagram presence has been better, mm. and I've noticed like like I said, people reach out to me pretty often, like DM like high school friends, and send they'll be like, "Can you draw me this?" And I'll tell them my price, and they go, "Ugh," not all the time, but it's still like people reach out to me. <laughs> I mean, which is hey, I'm cool with that, man, because I, no, I, yeah. I ain't got time. I don't. I'm not. I I don't live life so I can just draw for fun. Just oh, you need something? Cool. Yeah. I can't do it anymore. But but like I, I think I mentioned it one time, but what I'll try to do is either upload to my story a bunch or post something, but something just yeah. every day. Yeah, uh, you know, you're doing really good. But it feels good. It's just like, just to and, and interact. And I, I, one thing I got from you somehow, I don't know if it was an interview or something, but somebody was talking about like, if you don't reply to somebody's comment in the first like 20 minutes, they lose interest mm. or something like that. So, so and even just like mm. what you did today, where it's like, hey, thanks for the first heart. Like, <laughs> just stuff like that. Like it, it really, it that's really, something that's something new I've I've started doing. Um, I, I thank people for the first heart and for the first comment. Mm -hmm. I don't know, just that's something brand new. Like with the past couple of days, and, I saw you do it to one guy, and it was like it was yesterday. I think you saw, I saw you do it to somebody. And he was like very like happy and receptive because he got like eight k followers or something. So it was cool. Like yeah. and he said to humanize, like, hey, like I appreciate you. I, you know, I, I've gotten that before, so I think it's it's worth a little bit of effort to just mm -hmm. thank people for everything we possibly can. Um, yeah. I'm glad that you're finding success. I've been Thank really you. frustrated. I've been really frustrated with what's happening. I've been losing followers a lot. I remember you saying that too. But that's know. why I mentioned. I don't know what is going on, but I the past few weeks I'm like dropping, 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 dropping. Interesting. And I'm doing, you know, everything, all the techniques that you're doing, and uh -huh. you know, being genuine and commenting, and you know, hit, I'll hit up fat hashtags and like throw out hearts and comments and but for some reason i'm losing fall i'm just like hemorrhaging followers i think well so one of my other like kind of side goals is by i think i've noticed my followers have been increasing because i was trying to unfollow yeah. people but like i went from like 850 last month and i'm not like 940 right now so i want to hit 1k eventually but it's not like yeah. it's not my main focus yeah um, but it's it's so dumb because it'll be like nine thirty four. I'm like, all right, cool. And then nine fifty four. I'm like, all right, cool. And then nine thirty nine. Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know how it works. I really don't. Um, yeah, people seem to drop out. I don't know if they're choosing to unfollow. I don't. I, or if something's like happening. Like I have. There, I've seriously. There's been times where I'm following someone I didn't mean to follow. Mm -hmm. and, and I've heard this from someone else also that is Instagram like making us follow people. And this is. I don't have no idea. But seriously, yeah. there's been times where I'm like, why am I? I don't remember ever following this person. This isn't someone that I would follow at all. It's not an artist. But oh. here I am following this person. It could easily be a missed, you know, tap. But why would I be looking at this person's stuff anyways? So there's been a couple instances where, where it's kind of weird. And then today, someone re-followed me. And they're like, I don't know how this happened. But I stopped following you somehow. And he just yeah. he, he thought of me. And he's like, I haven't seen anything from JP in a while. So he went to my site and re-followed me. And I sent him a message saying, thanks for following me. And he's like, yeah, I don't know what happened, but I already was. I, think I don't know. Some... Just putting that out there, conspiracy stuff. <laughs> Dude, that's a, I think it's some wonky Instagram shit, man. Because, yeah, like I, I'll lose followers, but like it, it's so much work because I've tried to go through and unfollow people, but it's such a fucking headache. I don't think people are like, I don't know what it is, man. But mm. but like like you said, I don't, I'm not trying to. But I, I also mentioned that too in the beginning because like 
I remember you saying too when you do more Venom Spider Man stuff, people repost it and you get a lot more people. Yeah. That's when you saw a big spike. But I think, like, I, I do understand it's frustrating, but I, I, I feel like a different tone or different vibe from you, from you doing Astro Pig and like doing that, mm. the Anchor podcast and the Discord. Like, I, I, I don't know. It, it, it seems like you're at a good spot. I, I am, yeah. I'm, I'm doing so. Yeah, that's the thing is, I I feel like I'm doing better than ever artistically, personally, mm -hmm. my confidence level. And for some reason, I do get hung up on the numbers, though. It's yeah, no. I try, I try to block it. Oh shit, sorry. I try to block. I swore, darn it. I try to block mm -hmm. it out, but but I do notice like my numbers are dropping, even though it, from what I'm being told and what I'm feeling, everything's better than ever. It but is for some reason. And I think it's because I'm doing a lot less fan art. That's right. my that's my only that's my best and my only guess. Maybe I I piss people off with my scammer saga. That's when it really started. That was really. That's when it really started. I I, I lost about forty followers just from that. That was hilarious. But I I thought so. <laughs> but since then I've been they've been dropping dropping and then ever since and then I posted my um episode eight um Star Wars critique. And that was I've great too. I've lost a chunk. <laughs> Interesting. Hmm. So I've, I've lost a chunk from that also. So I, between those two events, though, there were still people dropping out. So I, I can only guess it has something to do with that. But really, I've I've been at like the same amount of followers, around 8,900, 8,900 8, for like a mm -hmm. couple of years. Hmm. I, I've been stuck here. I've plateaued for I think a couple of years now. It's been it's been it's been like zero growth it just goes up and down up and down up and down instagram's tough too because it's just like it's a platform my friends like when we think about promoting muscle core it's just mm -hmm. i think instagram is the best but it's also yeah. the, I, I don't know the specifics but the algorithms and stuff like what gets chosen to be promoted and stuff so <clears throat> right i haven't figured that out I, I know people are doing research on that i haven't looked into it mm -hmm. um, but I, I know there's someone told me recently like basically just whatever their new feature is use it <laughs> because that's that's what's going to get you priorities Stupid. on that. Instagram TV, because I remember you mentioned like, yeah. oh, you should have live streamed it, but I couldn't. I don't. I don't. I don't know. It's just not something I'm comfortable with. But the TV seems almost interesting, but it's also like, I don't know, man. I want to. I don't know how I would use that, but I would like to use it. I really want to live stream my the podcast, mm -hmm. but but the the Instagram TV is only ten minute segments, I believe. Yeah, just uh, longer stories or something, right? Some, something I think like so. That. Yeah, it's tall. They use the whole the, the tall width. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know how to edit movies for that. So it's just something I'd like to do, mm -hmm. but I'm just not putting the effort into it right now. Yeah, but I, I want to. I, I really do want to. Okay. It's, it's okay. Like another tool. Instagram is my spot. Um, it is. And that's. It is super helpful to like get out there, and that's some, my main like mode of. Uh, it's almost like I almost kind of treat like a portfolio where like I try to put yeah. a lot most of my work up there. Um, the website's more helpful too, but. But yeah, it's more about, and I say I got this for me, but I'm more about instead of me trying to get as many followers as I can, it's like doing things. It's like you said with the Star Wars rant, you'd post it too. Like people were commenting, you like, mm -hmm. you know, about this part of the movie and that part of the movie. And I think it's those genuine connections that are very, yeah. very. Important. Yeah, it's with, with that, with the scammer thing, I got so much interaction. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And mostly all positive. Um, right. So lots and lots of comments, and like that was all great. And then, yes. but then at the same time, just it's me i know i'm noticing like w what about these people that are dropping out where what's, what's going on with them <laughs> yeah i don't like i said that, that's, I, that's how i am i just like it's i focus on like what what just happened like i'm I lost this, <laughs> you know, I, I, that's something i gotta work on i feel like it's the, the powers that be but it's 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 like it's like it's like certain people we listen to on youtube not being promoted where it's, it's these yes well that, that's, that's I, I hope I that's a, that's a whole separate thing i hope that's not yeah I just, I just, when it comes to social media's, uh, right, sort of, you know, yeah, I don't feel like it's got a whole lot. I don't, yeah, well, I don't think that's what's happening to us on Instagram, but, but it's um, something, something, I don't know, it doesn't feel right, okay. anyhow. But yes. it's, it's a free service, and I'm not gonna go anywhere, so I'm not gonna exactly, complain. yeah, okay. Uh, I don't feel like we got a whole lot done. You got your, what? you have a date planned for, yeah, printing. that's uh, really what I need. You got, we talked about fees website and business card and i'll send you the business card designs tomorrow okay was that i enough? feel like this is a great session okay well it was it was a fun talk 
but I, I feel like you're leaving here without a whole lot to work with. Or do you feel like you're set? Well, I, I do feel like I'm set. I just I right. bouncing all these ideas off it was really helpful. I just it's, I think what I needed most was accountability to make sure my prints were. Like, you know, what I think at this. I'm sorry, I'm interrupting. You. Please. I think we're we're talking more on a level of just like I don't, I don't know. I'll, I'll say equals. Oh. Not exactly as a mentee, mentor, but just like two artists talking, and you're just hashing out ideas with me. And uh, you know, I did the same thing with you with, with Insta- my Instagram rant. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. But maybe that's why is you're, you're not coming to me like, hey, I need. Actually, you, you did kind of say I need you to set me straight or whatever. But I'm like, no, you can do this. Yeah, and that's why he set the dates. Like, but like Wednesday morning, <laughs> and same thing. One thing Tim told me about. I talked to my dad about too as a. Tim was saying the most important because we talked about a bunch of stuff, but he said the most important thing you can have is accountability. So instead of me saying, I'll have these two by tomorrow, Wednesday for me, just because like today I didn't do Instagram, but like I could have, but I just I felt like poop. And I don't know how much Whatever. but it's just but it's just like I know for me that's a good that's a good spot. It's still gonna push me. Well, I um, think that I think that you have grown a lot in every way and it, it just feels like you're more confident and capable of, of where you're headed right now. But it's because of you, so thank you for that. But you, you've done the work, man. Thank you. You you have done the work. I appreciate that. You could have done more without all the Mario Kart too, dude. Just as I, I <laughs> you want to get beat in Mario Kart? Is that what it is? You want to? Because I'll see you in Mario Kart if you want. So I don't want to. You know, I don't like handing it out. But you th- you think I'm gonna stop when I'm doing to play Mario Kart with you? I was hoping. Well, I, got, you said, I got Astro Pig waiting for me. I got podcasting. <laughs> I'm not playing Mario Kart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sounds like you're scared. But what? What do I know? It's like, <laughs> no, I know. What is? What is scared? I don't. Know. <laughs> I haven't. T- I haven't touched Mario Kart uh, besides the Super Nintendo version. Oh man, I, I I haven't played the new games really at all. I don't think. No, I haven't played the new games at all either. But it's good. No? Like, ah. Uh, no, I like a little bit. Yeah, not as much. I cut out. Like, Good for you. But Man, it's, just, it's, it's like little... I, I really, I'm, I'm proud of the effort you've put in, and I'm glad that I've been able to be a part of it. Uh, I really have. Like you, you've, it's just been cool to see you put the work in, man. Like I really appreciate you, that. You, you have pushed yourself. You've taken some very, I would say, pretty harsh feedback, um, and you've, you've done it all just with grace. <laughs> Thank you. I really I appreciate know. that. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's just you were focused on growth, and it's it's been so cool to be a part of that. Oh, thank. Well, you had said something too, where I was talking to somebody about <clears throat> the muscle core and like the group and how I really want to help them. But you had said something too that really resonated with me, and you were saying like you had said how I was the one. You're like you're the one that went out and sought me like as a mentor. Mm-hmm. You know, you're the one that's putting in the work and stuff and stuff. But it's just stuff like that. Like, I, but I really appreciate you accepting. And one other thing, sorry, one last thing. Mm. I've talked about my dad briefly. And like, I love him to death. Growing up, we didn't have the best relationship, but he's the reason I draw. And we're better now, but it's still kind of weird, whatever. Mm-hmm. But we talked, we talked for like an hour a couple of days ago. And I remember always growing up, like I'd always show him my art. And he was always kind of dismissive about it because he's mm. like, God, he's so much better than I am. But he he was really, really good. And mm. and he became a cop, but I think he could have been a pro artist. This dude was talented. Oh, so wow. talking, oh yeah, oh. no, he's he's good. My man. mom, my mom's the same way. Really? Yeah, you showing all the, and they go, oh, this ridiculous, yeah. just ridiculously talented. I, I found a sketchbook of hers when I was a kid. I'm like, why aren't you doing this? And she's just, it's just something she shelved to be a mom. Mm-hmm. Uh, but damn, like just wasted. You know, my dad, same thing with his, uh, his penmanship is just beautiful. Mm-hmm. But he doesn't, he could easily do typography or something like that. Just something he didn't ever explore. Right. Anyhow, go uh. ahead. No, so 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 I was talking to him, and like so in high school, I just remember I remember growing up all the times. I think a big reason why I drew as much as I did younger was just so that he and I would have something to talk about. But like growing, mm. like I said, it was younger. It was a little just different dynamic. Now it's a lot. It's it's so much better now. But um, but I remember even going to college. Like I'd ask him about like taking out taking out money to go to state or like taking out loans to go to art school. Or just do my business, and I'd always show him stuff too. And he'd always be like, "Yeah, yeah, you know, yada yada." But I talked to him a Tuesday, and like, you know how like tough dads are. But I talked yeah. to him Tuesday, and he goes, he goes like, "I'm seeing the stuff you're putting out," and he goes, "Before you'd always come up to me saying like you want to be an artist, and like, you know, but before 
it just seemed like you were somebody that drew and you weren't bad, but it just seemed like a talent. But he goes, I look at yourself now. And he's like, I think you're ready. Like, this is like, you're ready to start charging people and do your own business and do this and do that. That's why cool. it, it felt really good. But that's why for me also during the summer, when I have a ton. That's so like validating, you know, it's, it is really nice. Cause, and he's good too. And he would say, he said like, he was like, you know, I had a career at 21, like, cause he was a cop. Hmm. And so that's why he kind of gave up the drawing. But he's just like, he's like, you know, I, I was too scared to take that jump and like be an artist full time. He's like, I just couldn't do it. Um, mm -hmm. So it's really good to hear. But Damn. I also, that's why I want to take seriously the business aspect. Because the drawing, I feel like with Peterson, he has a workshop and he has you yeah. list 10 things. And my number one is art. Like I'm always going to draw. I'm always going to try to improve and like talk to other artists, read books and stuff. But my number two was business. And I think over the mm. summer, I really need tackle the business aspect if i want to make this you know i do i really feel like you're gonna hit that harder than i ever will the business mm -hmm. I, I think you'll be making something of yourself as an artist before i before i do you won't be as good as me but you'll <laughs> <laughs> well that martian the manhunter that's why i went to you because i was like i was like he could do it dude it's martian manhunter so when you put martian the manhunter <laughs> i thought marvin the man Marvin the oh, Martian. Marvin. So I, I got confused, but yeah. It's so good. But like, but I, I guess I, I really believe that on the, the path that you're on and how you're sticking out like a business mentor now, kind of with Tim, it sounds like. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think you'll be hitting some milestones that I, pr I don't know if I, if I ever will, honestly. Well, I really appreciate it, but none of this would have been possible if it wasn't for you. So I'm always shouting you out to it, all my friends, and, you know, Thanks, my man. art buddies. No, I really appreciate it, man. So thank you for the help. It's, it's, I would, like I said, I would not be anywhere close to here. I was thinking the other day, I was like, what if I never asked Prime to like help me yeah. get here? And I was just, I got really like, not sad, but really upset. I was like, what would I be doing? I wouldn't be doing nothing. I'd be playing more Mario Kart. That's, that's yeah. the only. <laughs> so, so thank you, man. I really do appreciate it. It's but been, yeah, a, it's, it's been wonderful. I mean, on my end, it's been great just talking and watching you grow. And um, it's, you know, it helped me get content for my channel yeah, and my, exactly. you know, whatever. Um, but it also helped me realize how important it is for me to lend what I, you know, what I, a little bit I've accomplished to people that are, that mm. want to get to where I've gotten, which isn't very far. Like, I don't feel like I've gotten very yeah, far man. at all. You'd be surprised, but, man. But I, I love that I'm a springboard for you to get to the next springboard. I, I just, I love that you're doing, you're doing that. Well, so, really on, on my that. end, it's been nothing but a pleasure. Frustrating, good, frustrating at times. <laughs> It's a dynamic, man. <laughs> uh, so I'm thinking maybe like after, like I'll be the same thing. I'll, I'll text you and keep you up with how the prints are going. But maybe after the first convention, yeah. like another talk, just to see how it went. Then maybe maybe in October again too, like for the final talk after CampbellCon to like see. We we have so you have the convention on the 28th. On the 28th, which is a Saturday. And our, our next talk is scheduled for the third. That was supposed to be our last one, right? To kind of debrief the convention and whatnot. August, yeah, August third. August, August third was supposed to be our last one. Okay, is that. that what you were thinking, or what? What are you, what are you saying? What I was thinking. Well, yeah, no, we could do that because my only concern is that. Um, how about August third is like the last like help me, and then I could talk to you again <laughs> in October. I think August third is look. August third is going to be. Just this is, this, this is how it went. This mm -hmm. is what went right. This is what went wrong. This is where I'm going to grow. So I, I, I think I think August third is going to be that where it's like you're debriefing with me. You know, I'll mm -hmm. lend what I can, but I think it's going to be you really holding yourself accountable for how you did. Yeah, you know what I mean. No, for sure. I'm sorry. Uh, my only concern is that because October is Campbell Card, I think that'll be a real like kind of test of the metal. Because the Pleasanton, I'm like you. I remember you when we had met there too. You and other artists too were saying like that was the slowest one you'd gone to, and like not many people showed up. Um, so I, I would, if if you don't mind, after I'd be open. Okay, I'd, I'd be I'd be open to it, but I I think there's value in ending. But that's what I'm saying. After after Campbell, that'd be it. Because I don't know if Pleasanton no, that, really... That's what we said about this next one. Mm. We, we already had an end date. Now All right. Hey, the third it is. The third it so, is. But, like, dude, you can all, you have my phone number. You can hit... Like, I'm not going to yeah. shut... Look, that's look, a good look, point. Done. You and I have a, a relationship here. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, yeah, let's let's do the third. Third will end it nice and clean. How about we'll do a third, and then um, we'll, we'll keep in contact. And if we want to have, if we think, if you and I both think it'd be valuable and, and fun to do mm -hmm. uh, another recorded talk, that's, I don't mind that. That's fine. But 
Uh-huh. But I do plan on moving on with someone else by that time. Another golden child. <laughs> we're going to end on nine episodes. That's like a weird taboo number. It kind of is. Ten? Well, dude, there, there, was a, there was actually a tenth one that I didn't record. You remember that? Oh, okay. Good point. Good point. Good point. Good point. All right. All right. I feel a lot better now. Let's end on the third. There was, yeah, it was a good one too. I didn't. Rec- I didn't hit the record oh, button. Okay. Well, so we'll, yeah. We'll do, we'll do the third, and then we'll play it by ear for a possible tenth. Nah, I might just give you a jingle, like a phone call. That'd be fun too. Because I gotta spread my wings, you know. I gotta exactly. <laughs> I, think you're, I think I think you're ready, man. I appreciate that. Thank there's you. All, there, yeah, there's always going to be a bigger one. So I know Campbell's going to be bigger, but you might be at San Diego Comic Con and be like, hey, I want to talk to you one more time after this bigger one. It's like, nah, <laughs> you're good. You're good. You're good. So, I I think we'll, so for now, the third will be the last one. And then we'll be last one. Here. And you can always hit me up. We'll always talk. I appreciate that. Man, good talk. All right. Well, all thank right. you very much. I'm going to stop the I'm gonna stop the broadcast, yeah. but hang on for a second, all right? Okay. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs>